You need a little shark. That right there is a little baby bonnet head. There's like a hundred stingrays behind No way. Oh my god. There's stingrays everywhere. All cow knows rays. Okay, every step across? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Mm -hmm. How's it going, bro? Thank you, dude, for waiting. Yeah. Dude, we literally, first five seconds on the boat, we almost just had a big old uh, fire. Uh, we were trying to do a good deed, well Jake was trying to do a good deed by helping someone out. Their jumper cables almost caught on fire and almost caught this boat on fire. If we didn't act quickly, that could have been really bad, for sure. We got a whole bunch of live shrimp in here and that is what we are gonna be using for bait today. Bonnet heads absolutely love live shrimp, so that's what we got on the menu. All right, we're here. We're pretty much just gonna be fishing the flats right now. We're offshore. And what we're gonna be doing exactly is we find little sandbars, then you sight fish the bonnet heads. We'll probably see a lot of rays as well while we're here, but we're after the bonnet heads, so we just gotta get some lines in the water and hopefully we get lucky. What do we got on going on? Got shrimp, no tail. Just gonna hook him right there. Nick, you wanna cast this one out? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. First bait. All right, so right now, we got a bait out, we got a dead shrimp for bait, and pretty much what we're doing right now is we're gonna wait until we hear this sound right here. Right when we hear that, that means there's obviously something on, and then we're gonna figure out what it may be. Oh, look at all that chum. Uh, you know what, after like four hours of driving, you know, going through the U-Haul, feeling all right, feeling all right. Until we have a bonnet head on this boat, I won't be feeling good. Now we do have a good chance of not only catching bonnet heads, but also stingrays. We can catch cow nose ray, little bottom ray. As you guys know, we did this like two months ago. We came out here after bonnet heads. We ended up not seeing many, so we ended up catching a little cow nose ray and bringing that guy home to the pond, but he was a little big, so we ended up giving him to our buddy Predatory Fins, and we are back out here after the bonnet head. Hey. Waiting for these sharks. Might eat one. Kind of hungry, honestly. I haven't eaten today. Here we go. Oh, 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 we are tight. We are tight. I don't know if it's a shark. <laughs> it's not. No? No. Okay, well, we're going to see what it is. Not a shark, Jake said. Jake is a pro here, so we're going to listen to him. Look at that. So, not a shark, but, you know, close to a shark. We got a little catfish. They have some nasty spines. There's fish. All right, not what we're looking for, but. It'll do. Is it heavier? Oh, it's heavier. You need a little shark. Oh, what is that? Oh. Wait, oh, that's a shit. <laughs> what is that, bro? I've never seen this in my life. Dude, no, that's a skate. A skate, bro. We can put that in the pond. Dude, I've that never seen sick. this before. It's like a mix between a shark and a stingray. Is it oh? actually? Yeah, we just gotta make sure we're able to keep it. That's running. sick. I've never seen one of those ever in my life. Bro, that is insane. In the pond? If we're able to keep that, oh my gosh. I know it's a skate, I just don't know what kind. Um, skate, fish, Florida. So we actually just found out that it is not a ray or a skate, it's actually a guitar fish. You're allowed oh, to take them, the they have no size limit. Right. What is it? There's like a hundred stingrays on No way. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Bro. There's stingrays everywhere. All cow knows right. Oh, 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 oh! They are biting. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Be the one. Be the one. Be the one. Oh, that ain't no catfish. Okay, boys. All right. Oh! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Oh my gosh, we did it, we did it. All right, we gotta get home. We gotta get home. 
gotta get That's home. him. We gotta get home. Dude, oh we got God. him. We did it. We did it. We did it. A baby bonnet head. Let me see him. Yeah, take him. Okay, buddy, you come here. Be, be ah, baby something. shark. He just slapped me. But look at that. That right there is a little baby bonnet head. And these guys are actually great bait. You We're going to be keeping them as one of our pets. Where do you want to hook it? Um, I'll like just hook it in, in the water. For now. In the mouth, I would say. Right. Just so where it can't come out. You can put it in the water. Yeah. No! 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 We are back at the dock. We had a long day of fishing. Honestly, a huge shout out to Jake for taking us out today. We were after bonnet head sharks. We had one on the line. We actually had one in the boat, but then an accident happened. We got really excited. We were trying to figure out the live well situation, and boom, he jumped in. But that does not mean we are not going to try again. We are definitely going to try for a third time, and we are 100% going to get a bonnet head before even uploading the video. But only if you guys get this video to 10,000 likes. 10,000 likes, we'll come back and try to catch some bonnet heads. But we got this cool guitar fish right here, and we actually just got the AOK -okay from FWC that we're actually allowed to take him. So what we're going to do is get him in the bucket, get that whole thing filled up, and then we have a long ride back to Jupiter. So you're probably wondering how we're going to transfer this guy. We're pretty much doing the same concept as we did with the Ray. We got this pump right here that we're going to be connecting to this battery. Then we got this big old 200 gallon bin that we're putting him in. And then we're sending it all the way back across Florida. This thing is going to be a lot of bucket pulls. But once we're done filling this thing, we'll get the camera back on, get him in there and then head home. So we got the bin all filled up. You gotta remember, this animal is flat, so we don't need much water in there. He's only gonna need enough just till we get, obviously, to the pool pond. So what we got right here is a big old pump, and that's gonna keep him alive while we have him in here. It's all filled up. It's time to get this guy in. Let's go. Dude, look how cool this thing is. He's got like a see-through snout. So crazy looking. Oh my god. All right. Going in the bin. You got the aerator set up, the pump, you got the bin. We have about a four hour drive, so it should be good till we get home. Got everything you pretty much need. So, yeah, what a day. Let's get home and get this guy in the 3,000 gallon salt water pump. One eternity later. Woo! We are back at the house. A long, long drive, but we finally made it. It's literally, I think it's 10 o'clock at night. Right? Our little skate. That's what we're gonna be calling him, is right here, he's doing awesome, and I've noticed something really cool about him. So look at his nose right here, look at his nose. If you notice, it's see-through. If I put my finger under there, you can see my finger. Look at how crazy that is. We also did find out that this fish right here that we caught is really, really rare. The FWC officer that we talked to at the boat ramp said he's only seen two of them his whole time in working, and he's been working for like 20 years. So this is really, really rare. All right, our scape is going in. But before he goes in the pond, guys, I need you guys to drop down a whole bunch of names for this guy. I mean, look at him. You, you got to get some idea. Now guys, I have never owned a skate, so what we're gonna do is obviously a lot of research since this is a new fish, a new species. We definitely have to research a few things for the animal just so he's a healthy fish and he does awesome in the pond. But dude, David, give me some. Thankfully, we didn't leave there with nothing. We came back with this awesome skate. I mean, look at him, dude. He's definitely a little scared right now. He has no clue where he's at. I mean, he just came from the ocean to a pond, so he's gotta get used to it a little. But a lot of these fish, just like the lionfish, they were all from the wild. Eventually, they adapted and they do awesome in the pond now, so. Everything's looking really, really good. We're probably going to give our skate a day or so to acclimate. I'm going to turn off all the lights, let him get used to his surroundings. I mean, like I said, he came from the ocean to a pond, so he definitely is like, where the heck am I? So like I said, we're going to give him a whole day, and we'll pick the camera back up tomorrow. <laughs> 